there are two sections of a trombone, two main sections. One is the bell section, seen there, and one is the slide section, seen there. Today I'm going to show you how to clean the trombone slide section using a cleaning rod, which is that long metal rod I just put there, and this cheesecloth. Our first step is to remove the inner slide, which is this, from the outer slide, which is this. This needs to be done very carefully because any bumping of the inner slide or outer slide against either each other, as you can hear me doing right now, or against uh, something else can damage the instrument so that you have to take it to a repair shop and pay someone maybe $70 to fix it. So just be very careful when you remove the inner slide from the outer slide and make sure that you don't bump either part of the slide into anything. Next we need to thread the cheesecloth through the tip of the cleaning rod that looks like this. I've set the inner slide and outer slide down on a safe surface where I made sure not to have them bump in anything. Um, while I demonstrate this, I have to apologize, I'm using yesterday's dirty cheesecloth. So the one you're using should be completely white. Mine has various kinds of organisms on it. <laughs> as you can see, and it is brown and green. So, <clears throat> you thread a tip of the cheesecloth through this opening, only a little bit of it, and then you wrap the rest of the cheesecloth around the rod, kinda like this. You'll have to play around with it yourself to make sure that when you put this into the slide, um, the cheesecloth doesn't bunch up so much that it actually gets stuck. So you want the cheesecloth, you want the thickness of the cheesecloth when it's on the rod to be thin enough that it can fit through the slides without you having to force it too much. So now I'm going to show you how to actually clean the inner slide with it. Now I have my inner slide. I'm going to do the tip that has the, that where you usually put the mouthpiece, that's going to have the most gunk in it because it's the, it gets most of what comes out of your mouth. So I inserted the tip of the rod really straightforward from here. You just push it through. Pull it out. <clears throat> My cheesecloth fell off. Hopefully yours won't. And you repeat that on the other end of the inner slide. Then you do the same with the both ends of the outer slide. At this point, when you move to the outer slide, I would recommend either using a fresh cheesecloth or to be more efficient with your materials, just reversing the cheesecloth, so inserting the other, the cleaner end of the cheesecloth into that gap of the rod. And you'll do the same thing here that you did with your inner slides. There it is. This time my cheesecloth my cheese cloth stayed on the rod um, because the diameter of the outer slide is thicker, is wider, sorry, than the diameter of the inner slide and so it can fit more cloth into it easier um, and I did bunch the when I sent this through the inner slide I bunched too much of the cheesecloth together so that the diameter of the cheese cheesecloth on the rod was thicker than the inner slide really wanted to or really could handle it was thicker than the diameter of the inner slide all right so once you do this, I will show you how to safely replace the inner slide into the outer slide. 